Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we've got some sad news. Alright, so guys, as you might have seen from the title and thumbnail, you would have seen that we've got a dead fish in this discus tank. This is the tank I recently set up and it's going pretty well, but yeah, we've got a dead fish. So as you might remember, we had two of these, these big ones, and now we've only got one. And so he's in the back there. Um, yeah, I need to still get him out, but he isn't, uh, he's dead. He, he's not alive anymore. And it's like a mystery to me. I don't really know why he's died. So actually also the two, um, the brown, brownish ones, they also died, they were the smallest ones though. Yeah, they also died and I really don't know why they died. Maybe because they were weaker, but this was like a full grown fish. Like these fish are huge, like bigger than my hands. Look crazy how big they are. And I've had him for like at least two years, you know. So yeah, it's, I, I, I don't get why, why he's died. So that's a big shame. Um, I might need to well, have a look what I do with these discs because I don't want these dying on me, you know. Um, but I can't see anything physically like wrong with them. Like they all are, look happy. They're eating. They are coming to me as I, you know, walk past. So yeah, we've left with these five discs now, and yeah, I think well, I'll just keep it at this. Not don't change too much. And as you can see, this tank is having some diatoms. So the brown algae you can see at the back and a bit on the wood. That isn't a big deal. I can just wipe that away when I have time. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's a shame that this fish has died, basically. Because I really love these fish. Like, really, like, they were just a beautiful... And they weren't a pair. Well, they, I thought they were a pair, but I don't think they were. Because, well, um, you know, they hadn't laid eggs or whatever. But yeah, it's just a big shame. And I know I'm probably repeating myself in this video a lot, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just sad about this. So I think plan for now is to just get him out and you know, well, I mean, I need to get him out. I can't just leave him in here. And then, yeah, I think we'll just move on, you know, um, like this fish is, you know, it, it means a lot to me, these fish do. And, you know, it's also, like, financially, these fish are expensive fish, you know, so it's not good if one dies. But yeah, I'm gonna just gonna keep going with these, keep feeding them, keep doing water changes, and they should be fine, hopefully. So yeah, guys, let's just uh, net him out. Right, so guys, I've got my net here, and I'm just gonna fish him out. He's a big fish, like, this net is also huge but uh, he's a big fish and a heavy fish as you can see maybe well you can't see because you can't feel him but yeah we're just gonna net him out like this and he's really got some weight to him i mean guys just look at this fish i mean he's just so beautiful and look at him he's just well he's not alive anymore but this is a big shame like look how big he is i've I've grown him quite a lot, like I got him when he was already at a good size, but I've grown him all that time and I've seen him grow and grow and yeah, just a big shame. So let me just talk about the causes for a bit. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the water quality, I can test of course, but uh, yeah, I can just see by these, like the other fish, like the Colombian tetras and the angel fish, the water quality is fine, otherwise they would be dead and the quarries, you know. Um, so water quality is fine. Water temperature is also fine, like it's set to 28 degrees Celsius, so that's good enough for discus. The only th other thing I can think of is one, well one day I, I come in through the door basically and sometimes it shocks them a bit or like if there's some movement past the tank it does shock them sometimes a little bit. And one time it shocked them like a lot and this particular one that died, he was going all crazy through the tank and he was maybe hitting some of the wood and stuff. And also I saw him yesterday, he had some scars on the side of him, but I don't think that, that can't be really, I don't think that can be a reason why he died. Maybe it was, but a few scars should just heal on its own. So yeah, it's still a mystery to me why this fish has died, but um, like I said, we're just gonna go on because what can you do you can you know 
you can keep saying, oh, I've done this and this wrong. But, well, of course, you need to learn from your mistakes. But if you keep saying, if you keep with it too long, it just doesn't help you in the long run. You know, you just need to move on and, yeah, that's it. So anyway, guys, um, I'm just going to leave it at this, really. I'm just going to keep it with these fish in here, the five discus. And that's good enough for now. Maybe I'll come to a decision to maybe move them or sell them or whatever. I'm not too sure yet. Um, because I want to be breeding these guys. And, well, maybe, I don't know if there's a breeding pair in these. Maybe there is, maybe there's not. But I guess we'll just have to see. Anyway, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this, well, kind of sad video. Um, but if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.